so good to be back here in South Carolina. Hi everyone and welcome in to Gamecock Insider. I'm Brad Muller. Well, March Madness is here and it's twice as nice with both of South Carolina's basketball teams punching tickets to the big dance here in 2024. It's the first time both teams have been in the NCAA tournament in the same year since 2017. We'll also take a look at a historic win on the diamond for Gamecock softball. Let's check the Prisma Health injury report. Hey, nothing new to report. That's the way we like it. Let's hope it stays that way for the rest of the year. The injury report is brought to you by Prisma Health. Well, South Carolina women's basketball made its 12th consecutive NCAA tournament appearance under coach Don Stelly. They've been on a roll. Gamecocks earned the number one overall seed again and had the opportunity to host rounds one and two at Colonial Life Arena after winning the SEC regular season and tournament titles for the eighth time for each. There's nothing like basketball in March. Love is a journey and the road goes both ways. You can't just enjoy the ride. You have to hold on tight when it twists and turns. That's where you strengthen your faith. Love can bring you together 4,200 miles away. And love will always bring you home. Bring her, her mom and her sister out, y'all. <laughs> love will test your faith with seemingly insurmountable challenges. And that faith will bring you unimaginable joy. A miracle for the Gamecocks! Aid is pretty great, and South Carolina has been fantastic. Love has brought us here together. Reality! Love from the fans and our love for each other have brought us to the last steps of this season's journey. We started the season saying it, and we believe it now. Nothing beats love. A lot of fun around South Carolina women's basketball. We'll talk Carolina men's basketball coming up after the break. Gamecock Insider is brought to you by Prisma Health, the official health care provider of the Gamecocks, and by Liberty Tap Room. Liberty Tap Room is the home for the Columbia Craft Call-In Show with Gamecock men's and women's basketball. Meet us at Liberty at 6 p.m. on Thursdays during the season for Carolina calls. Liberty Tap Room and Grill, Cocky's favorite place to eat in the Vista. Hey Gamecock fans, I'm Coach Lamont Paris. The best teams are the ones that are always willing to do more. More in the weight room, more in the classroom, more for each other. And it's important for our team doctors to have the same mindset. With access to more locations, more specially trained experts, and more personalized care, Prisma Health is doing even more to care for our team and our fans. Prisma Health, official health care system and team physicians for the Gamecocks. And it's another big night for the Gamecocks here in Colonial Life Arena. Throughout my life, my friends and my family have supported me through the championships and the challenges. That's why it's so important for me to lift people up, to help them overcome the obstacles in their way. Colonial Life Benefits keep you prepared for life's unexpected moments, empowering people to achieve goals they thought weren't possible. That's what really matters. Colonial Life, keep unexpecting. Good morning, America. Today, thousands of our teammates will make and deliver over 300 of the world's best brands and flavors locally in towns large and small. From the heartland to the coast, our products are moving and our trucks are rolling. We share a passion and a purpose. We love to refresh and serve our communities. We are Coca-Cola Consolidated, your local bottler. Farm Bureau Insurance wants to give you a VIP experience this baseball season. Visit uscontest.com and register for your chance to be Cocky's Game Day guest. Winners will get a special invitation to a game, an autographed baseball and ball cap, two premium tickets, a trip to the radio booth, and more. 
Visit uscontest.com to register today. Taki's Game Day Guest is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance, here for all your auto, home, and life insurance needs. Welcome back to Gamecock Insider. What a ride it's been for South Carolina men's basketball under second year head coach Lamont Paris, who was named SEC Coach of the Year this year. After being picked to finish dead last in the SEC in the preseason, the Gamecocks finished the regular season tied for second in the SEC, and they won a school record 25 games in the regular season. After winning a game in the SEC tournament, the Gamecocks were off to Pittsburgh for their first trip to the big dance since 2017. Michi Johnson crosses over Ziegler, finds Cooper. Yeah, what a duo they are. Yes, sir. Timeout, South Carolina, 156 to play. It's a six point game. A two possession game with 47 seconds left. One of two from the line. Rebounded by Johnson. Gigi Johnson hit the big three Saturday against Florida for the win. No whistle on that drive. And then a whistle for a reach in. 38 seconds away from a regular season title. Cooper into Mayshek, elite defender. Ball fake got him up, no whistle on the jumper, able to rebound. And the Tennessee Volunteers have wrapped up an SEC outright regular season title. Seven years. It's been seven seasons since the South Carolina Gamecocks were in the big dance. And man, how magical of a dance it was. Past is the past, and this is about the future. A new family has come together to write our next chapter. A mix of hometown heroes. Wow! Rejected by Murray Boyle! Feel like that's a name that SEC fans are going to want to remember oh. for the years to come. And heroes who now call this place home. And let's get this straight. This ain't one of those Cinderella fairy tales. We always believed in this story. We worked for this moment. From last place predictions to big dance realities. From afterthought to now a seat at the table. The pursuit of a new culture. Come on, this is the right. We did this. We doing this. A new era. It's a new era for soccer on the basketball. A new beginning. Let's dance. dance. It's not about what's wrong with Kentucky. It's about what's right with South Carolina. Scene. Whole lot of excitement for men's basketball this year. They have certainly exceeded expectations. We're going to talk more about that. Time for our Terminex Pest Player of the Week, and we got to go with Elena of Otter for South Carolina softball. She pitched all 12 innings and threw 153 pitches in South Carolina's big historic win at Clemson earlier this week. She allowed just three earned runs while scattering seven hits for the hard earned victory. Pitcher Elena Vauder is our Terminex Pest Player of the Week. Stick around, we got more to come right here on Gamecock Insider. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Hmm. Imagine all the slopes you'll conquer. Sick. Imagine all the sights you'll see. Wow. Whoa, okay, how about you imagine dropping me off? <laughs> Right now, get 2.99% APR for 36 months on a new 2024 Toyota RAV4. That's just 2.99% APR on the Toyota RAV4. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. What does farm to table mean to you? Fresher, tastier food? Sitting down with family and friends at local restaurants? Sure. 
But thanks to South Carolina farmers and chefs, you can enjoy farm to table anywhere. That's because when you buy certified SC, you're supporting South Carolina farmers and getting locally grown food that's perfect for whatever table. So choose local, choose fresh. It's a matter of taste. I was perfectly happy where I was. I just coached one of the biggest games of my life. Then, just three days later, I was moving to South Carolina. That was unexpected. But that's how life works. Colonial Life's benefits keep you prepared for life's unexpected moments, empowering people to achieve their goals and keep moving forward. Colonial Life, keep unexpected. Farm Bureau Insurance wants to give you a VIP experience this baseball season. Visit uscontest.com and register for your chance to be Cocky's game day guest. Winners will get a special invitation to a game, an autographed baseball and ball cap, two premium tickets, a trip to the radio booth, and more. Visit uscontest.com to register today. Cocky's game day guest is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance, here for all your auto, home, and life insurance needs. Good hard work has earned Louise Ridgqvist the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the women's golf team, Louise is a management major with a 4.0 grade point average. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. Groff under this out to left. Jackson on the run near the line, dives. Oh, he made the catch! That's as good as it gets. That's the Sandsbury Eye Center. Did you see that play? Hey, it made the Sports Center top 10. That's good enough for us as well as Blake Jackson makes the spectacular catch in Sunday's win against Ole Miss for South Carolina baseball. Great job there. Well, Gamecock softball had a big game on the road at rival Clemson, a top 25 matchup. It went to extra innings, and the Gamecocks made some history. I got the devil inside, and I'm going all night because I'm the baddest mother. Hey Gamecock fans, I'm Coach Dawn Staley. The best teams are the ones that are always willing to do more. More in the weight room, more in the classroom, more for each other. And it's important for our team doctors to have the same mindset with access to more locations, more specially trained experts, and more personalized care. Prisma Health is doing even more to care for our team and our fans. Prisma Health, official healthcare system and team physicians for the Gamecocks. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Hmm. Imagine all the slopes you'll conquer. Sick. Imagine all the sights you'll see. Wow. Whoa. OK, how about you imagine dropping me off? <laughs> <laughs> right now, get 2.99% APR for 36 months on a new 2024 Toyota RAV4. That's just 2.99% APR on the Toyota RAV4. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Hey Gamecock fans, I'm here to ask you for your support of the Garnet Trust, the official NIL partner of Gamecock Athletics. NIL opportunities are an important part of the student athlete experience at the University of South Carolina and across the country. Join us as we continue to compete at the highest level of college basketball. Visit GarnetTrust.com today to join the growing community of members ensuring our athletes are set for their future. Good morning, America. Today, thousands of our teammates will make and deliver over 300 of the world's best brands and flavors locally in towns large and small. From the heartland 
to the coast. Our products are moving and our trucks are rolling. We share a passion and a purpose. We love to refresh and serve our communities. We are Coca-Cola Consolidated, your local bottler. Hey everyone, welcome back to Gamecock Insider. Well, Lamont Paris and South Carolina men's basketball are way ahead of schedule. After going 11 and 21 a year ago in his first season with the Gamecocks, expectations weren't very high for South Carolina, at least outside of Columbia. But Coach Paris and the Gamecocks had other plans this year after winning a school record 25 games in the regular season and of course getting back to the NCAA tournament. Check out a teaser from the latest chapter of the Gamecocks Plus series, Changing Expectations. All right, Meach, here we go. One more to try and put this thing on some ice. 92-89, your score. 5.8 seconds left in overtime. Second free throw for Meachy Johnson. Good. Got it. Four-point game. 5.8 seconds left. Lamont Paris tells his defense, come up. Don't make it easy on them. Make them use some time. Jeffries throws the heave down court. Tolu Smith catches it, gives it off to Davis. His three is short. That one is tipped in the air. And for the 25th time this season, you can put Spurs on this one. In overtime, South Carolina defeats Mississippi State 93-89. On the fifth time we won here in Starkville, but what a way to close out the season. The most wins in regular season history for the Gamecocks, 25 wins. A 13-5 finish in SEC play. The Gamecocks spoil senior day for the Bulldogs with an OT victory. And oh yeah, that's seven Southeastern Conference road wins to tie the 1997 team to the most in school history. Winning that game, expecting to win, and that's kind of why we had the success we had because we believe in each other. We believe that every game we can win when other people don't, and that's why we are who we are. That's real. That's why I said early in 2070. In 2070, you're gonna be old and gray. I'll be in a wheelchair with some drool hanging out of the corner of my mouth probably. And somebody's going to be talking about what you guys did. They're going to be talking about what you guys did. All right? And that's if we don't ever bust one more grape from now to the rest of the season, which I know that's not going to happen. Right? That, I know that's not going to happen. That's with what we've already done. Okay? So super happy for you, proud of you. I can't wait to get the word out as much as I possibly can on who you are. I've been saying to whoever will listen to me. Who you are as competitors, who you are as teammates, and who you are as basketball players. An incredible team. You've done a great thing. Okay, you should be proud of yourselves, okay? All right, here we go. Let's go. You have a good team where it's not about I get this, I get that. It's just about what can we do together. And then when you do able to do get stuff done, we get individual awards. The main goal has always been the main goal, and that was always put banners up. One more thing, one more thing. Coach got coach of the year. We got something for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get coach of the year and they bring the cake out completely unexpected but not surprising based on who our guys are but I mean moments like that are that that's a real moment you cherish the moments like that What do you think it means just for this city, the fans, everybody, to be able to fill out brackets and have South Carolina in there, to be able to sit down on their couch and watch their team they love be in this tournament? It hasn't happened that often in the last, you know, 10 years or so. Yeah, I think it's amazing. You know, I think it's amazing. I think it's what these people deserve. And I say that because when you come to the game, you see the excitement. You know, it's an 18,000 arena and what we sold out maybe three or four or five times this year. So it just goes to show you that the love and the respect is there. Some of the characteristics of teams that advance far, typically they are older, typically, not always, but they have a good core of older experienced guys, typically. They're teams that are connected on both sides of the ball. I think also teams that advance typically are good defensive teams, and that looks a lot of different ways. 
Heinrich starts inside, goes outside. Heinrich gets it. Heinrich puts up the shot. It's too long, and Syracuse is your national champion. Syracuse won it one year playing in a 2-3 zone. VCU goes to the Final Four, and they're pressing the way that they did at the time. Villanova goes to the Final Four, wins the national championships, and they don't do any of that, you know. I think there are a lot of different ways to do it, but they're all good defensive units. I think you have to be able to, at that point, feel like when you need to manufacture a stop, you can get that done. Hard to describe what you'll feel when you see the name come across the screen. It doesn't happen that often here. It'll be a tremendous moment for not only our guys, they will remember playing in the NCAA tournament forever, but also for our community and for our alums and for our current student body. Halfway through the bracket now, many conference champs still wondering where they'll be slotted and who they will play. And so back to the brackets now. These are games in Pittsburgh on Thursday, starting with South Carolina, the sixth seed. After being picked to finish last in the SEC, they tied for second. And it's their first tournament since 2017. Lamont Paris, the SEC Coach of the Year. And they will face the 11 seed who clinched it last night, the Oregon Ducks. So the uh, title of this is obviously changing expectations. Uh, do you feel that we have done that this year? Um, I hope so. I hope I, I hope that we've built a foundation in such a way that everyone's expectations will be higher on the national scene, locally, certainly for us even. When you look at big picture. You hope that the expectations of people that perceive and watch you is what you change. The biggest areas in terms of trying to continue on and make sure that the future continues to be bright is that you have to continue to develop relationships, continue to work hard, continue to develop the guys that are on our roster right now. I think that's a big part of it, is that as we move forward in the summertime, you know, the guys that are coming back can't be the same players as they were when this season ends. I think they have to be significantly better. There's not much in a pick, but I will say this personally, and I hope our team takes this. I'm, the only thing I can thank them for is that they picked us last. Second to last is nothing. What does that mean? I can't even use that as billboard material. They pick us second to last. So last it is. Do you guys still play with a lot of chip in your shoulder, just you know, going back to being pig last? Absolutely. That don't that don't never that don't never go away because that's who we are. And that's we all has we all have a chip on the shoulder because it's not mainly because of what they did, but mainly because who we are as like as people. Like we all have dealt with a lot of different stuff and like we all will felt unappreciated and most of the guys are mid-major players, so like we feel like we should have been at this level already. So it just it's deeper than just what they picked us. It's just who we are as people. Like we all has, we all just come from a place where we're not supposed to be here. We're supposed to we're supposed to be somewhere else, and we're here. So we're just trying to take down walls and keep showing that we belong in this stage. All right, boil down. I know it's not simple to do, but boil down what March is about in the NCAA tournament. What does it take? It just takes surviving and advancing. You know, doing what you have to do to get to the next round, taking it game by game. Anybody can have a good night. Um, any team can have a good night. But it's just about doing the things that you've done all year that led up to that point. I'm not trying to get out of character. You have some big moments. You have some crazy plays, some madness stuff that happens. But just staying true to yourself and surviving and advancing to that next round. I feel like that's what March is about. How do you make sure this isn't a flash in the pan, whether you're here or not, you know, and that this is something that could sustain, you know, here in South Carolina? You just continue to be who you are. Like I said, you know, when we break down in the huddle, we say be us. We can't be anybody else. We can't be the dude, the Kentucky, the Kansas, anybody else, the big blue bloods. We, we South Carolina. That's what we do. That's what we are. I think that's what I don't want to have lost in translation about this. I don't want it only to be about what these guys did on the basketball court, which is 
I think that's a byproduct of what's happening in all these other places, but it's a special group. Love these guys. And uh, I can't wait to see where, where they take us. Let me educate you real quick. The lottery is not about getting rich. No, the lottery is about helping people. And it always has been. It was the lottery that helped raise the Great Wall of China. Lotteries maintained the roads of ancient Rome and helped to usher in Western civilization as we know it. The lottery forged a foundation in this country and then help fund a revolution against tyranny that built on that foundation. And today, in South Carolina, the revolution continues. But we're not building walls or roads or bridges. We're investing in you. Every year, the South Carolina Education Lottery raises millions of dollars to help build an educated, well-equipped, and prepared people. And if you want to get in on the action, there's no better partner. After all, education is our middle name. For over 40 years, Sound & Images has been South Carolina's corporate multimedia partner for live events. Sound & Images is also your resource for commercial audiovisual installations. Help your teams collaborate more efficiently with a custom-crafted AV solution from Sound & Images. Whether you want a single monitor upgrade or a turnkey AV system, we are dedicated to helping you incorporate easy-to-use technology into your space. And we offer the best-in-class support and service. Elevate your AV. Call Sound & Images today. At Carolina, we know what it looks like to be the best. We've been there. We've got it at our ballpark, in the stands, and in the dugout with Prisma Health. Prisma Health helps keep our players at their best, and they're providing the same expert care to our fans across the state. With more locations, the best clinical technology, and a team of experts I trust, there's no one I'd rather have take care of our team and our state. Prisma Health, official health care system and team physicians for the Gamecocks. Gamecock Insider is brought to you by Prisma Health, the official health care provider of the Gamecocks, and by Liberty Tap Room. Liberty Tap Room is the home for the Columbia Craft Call-In Show with Gamecock men's and women's basketball. Meet us at Liberty at 6 p.m. on Thursdays during the season for Carolina calls. Liberty Tap Room and Grill, Cocky's favorite place to eat in the Vista. It's time to go on the road with Toyota. Toyota, let's go places. Well, South Carolina baseball is on the road next weekend for a big three-game series at Alabama. Gamecock softball also on the road next weekend as they will play three games at Ole Miss. That's going to do it for this week's edition of the Gamecock Insider. Appreciate you joining us. I'm Brad Muller. We'll see you next week. Go Gamecocks. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield.